Hello everybody, um, so through the process of movement and exercise you can actually um, deplete your glutamine storage um, so I've gone for a walk today to try and help the process along uh, to utilise all the glutamine in my body but when I get home I'll be doing some kettlebell exercises to um, also use up some glutamine storage I guess it also helps with glucose storage. You can burn up th that energy and create different pathways for energy to use. And it's very interesting. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people. Uh, Professor Seafried mentioned that if I was to do five miles a day of walking, I could use up some glutamine storage and therefore reduce the um, fuel source of the tumour pretty cool so yeah if, if anyone else is looking at different ways to reduce glutamine exercise is a good way so I'm going to be doing more of that high intensity training high intensity interval training as well I guess I'll be doing whatever I can accomplish with my um, current stamina levels and energy levels and epileptic sensitivity oh. Going downhill is quite dangerous when I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> Dumbass. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing today. Come for a walk to try and use up some glutamine storage, which makes sense. And I'll also be using um, melatonin to try and repair my mitochondria during the day and to reduce the glucogen. Uh, glucogen? Is it glycogen? Um, glucose storage um, as another way of cutting off fuel sources um, it's all very clever the body is very clever so yeah movement helps for everyone who can't be bothered I guess now's the time to get off your ass okay lots of love everyone take care